Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a productive evening routine, a little bit different um, from my other videos, but I thought this would be fun, especially to show you how I set up for a successful day or week. Flamingo kindly sponsored a portion of this video, so I'll be sharing with you this shave set, which includes the foaming gel, the body lotion, the razor, as well as uh, some extra blades. I'm very excited to share with you my experience shaving and my relationship with body hair, but we're gonna discuss that a little bit further in the video. This set though is very affordable at $16 for everything in here and you can find it at Target. I'm a shift worker and I work at a hospital, so I do 12 hours. Um, so I don't do a typical Monday to Friday, nine to five, which makes it a little bit difficult when you work in the blogging business as well that runs on a Monday to Friday schedule. If I'm off on the weekend, which happens ever so often, I will use Sunday or Saturday to set up my week for success. This includes looking at emails that came through the week that I didn't have time to look at, looking at any content that I need to submit, organizing those due dates, looking at news releases. Also, here's a productive hack. Gmail lets you schedule your emails. So on the weekend or anytime I have time, I will schedule all my emails. I'll draft them up and I'll schedule them to go out on Monday morning at 8 a.m. So even if I'm sleeping after working a long night shift, these emails are going out. People are getting their responses. And when I wake up, I just answer any responses that came through, but it keeps everything flowing very well because this is a one woman show. I have two jobs technically between the hospital and the blog. Emails can take forever. So after like a solid hour or two of just organizing stuff on my Gmail, I'm gonna head to the bathroom and focus on myself with a little self-care session. This is where I get to discuss the Flamingo sh razor and shave set. They sent this to me and kindly sponsored this portion of the video. Listen, I am a pale Lebanese girl with super dark thick hair growing up positive hair movement was not a thing and I always felt extremely ashamed of my body hair but now I'm grateful for brands like Flamingo that make it very easy and make me feel comfortable to shave whenever however and whenever I want the main components of the razor are I think my favorite part you get a five blade cartridge so you get a close shave easy shave that goes around the nooks and crannies like your ankles and behind your knees um, it's pretty flexible, which is great. And there's a hydrating aloe vera portion, so that really helps smooth things while you're shaving. The handle, like I'm not used to making shaving a luxury, but this is what I feel like with this super weighted um, ergonomic handle. It's something where I'm kind of proud to have in my shower. Um, and it has a nice textured grip so that it's not slipping in the shower. The other thing that I really like is I used to just use soap for my shaving gel, but this foaming shave gel is really thick, um, easy to wash off, which is important, but it nicely conditions your skin um, also with some aloe vera. The other nice thing about this shave set is it does have the body lotion, which I highly recommend you use or pick up to make it as part of your shaving routine. It moisturizes your skin, but it doesn't leave you tacky or sticky. So you can get dressed immediately after coming out of the shower and drying up. So you don't have that weird uh, gross feeling when you shave and then put lotion. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. After my little shower session, of course, we're gonna move on to skincare. Um, excuse my little messy cabinet. I am should have probably made this more aesthetically pleasing before filming, but you know, this is a typical evening routine. I'm just gonna do my skincare very quickly on camera. I might not discuss the products. If you follow my YouTube channel, you'll know that I do these skincare diaries. This routine specifically is my glass skin routine and I'll be posting that um, I think in the next two weeks so that way we can discuss products a bit more in depth. But most of these products you've seen me use throughout these skincare diaries. When it comes to organization, I like to write things down. So I have a few notebooks, like this blank one from Muji. It's actually like a blank calendar so I can fill in the dates as needed. And then I have this nice blank notebook from Laura Mercy that came through PR. I just leave that for ideas. So something will come into my mind, I'll write it down really quickly. And then I have my big Muji um, notebook and this is sort of Technically my calendar, I really can't live without a to-do list. Even I write the smallest things like wash dishes and do laundry. It's just a habit from university. You know, when you had the syllabus and it would tell you to read which chapter, I need that sort of structure. And this is how I maintain that through adulthood outside of university. Right now I'm writing down 
everything I need to do Saturday and Sunday. I'm also crossing out some of the things that I did do a couple days ago and I never had time to uh, satisfyingly cross it out. A lot of these productive evenings do require a pre-planning so then I'll start working on blog posts that will go out during the week again while I'm sleeping probably. The other important part of my productive evening is this pile is the bane of my existence. It somehow accumulates throughout the week. I just throw papers, receipts, whatever on my desk and it just, it could get sky high. If on the weekend I'm off and I'm having a productive evening, I absolutely tackle this pile of mess. I go through papers that either need to be here or that don't need to be here. I have to keep receipts because especially if it's a blogging expense, Once that corner of my desk is done, it's time to move on to the next step, which is usually organizing products and unboxing any packages that came through. I don't have many to go through right now because I was very good during the week. I was doing them as they came, but I have a little shelf that I use where I put products that need to be discussed or looked at or swatched. A productive evening is always lacking if there's not a delicious meal waiting for you. So after I've done a couple, you know, admin things, that's when I move on to dinner. Um, I, I think this was like 7 p.m. when I started cooking. My schedule or my sleep hygiene is very different from yours probably. I woke up here at 2 p.m. So basically this is my breakfast, which is might seem odd, but I worked the night shift the night before. I usually skip breakfast or typical breakfast food at this point and just go straight into dinner. Right now I'm making a Greek salad with probably a vegetarian gyro, which is my favorite meal in the world. After I'm done eating, it's cleaning and I cannot have a peaceful, productive evening if my space is dirty. So I'm focused on washing, cleaning my recycling, and taking it out already so that it's not piled up. I live in an apartment, so I have to take it outside, making sure my compost is in order. It's actually in New York, I have to walk like 30 minutes to drop off my compost, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then I absolutely need to do all the dishes because if they're stacked up or they're there, my mind's gonna constantly go back to it. Again, when I say clean, I mean actually clean. Uh, my space has to be spotless at all times. This is actually a new one that I'm trying from Method. It's an antibacterial spray. It's for the bathroom, but I mean, a surface is a surface. I always try to sanitize the areas of my house that see the most traffic, which is the kitchen and the bathroom. This is just um, a habit I have. So I discovered this really cool um, website called Grove Collaborative. They have all these eco-friendly home essentials. These wipes are compostable. So this is what I use to wipe down handles um, and things that I touch the most often, like light switches. Once the kitchen feels clean to me, I move on to things like laundry because those are things I can start doing while I'm working on something else. Also, this is so funny. I live in a two bedroom in New York City, which is basically a mansion, but I do not have a closet. Isn't that wild? I just have this like built closet in my room. So I wash my sheets once a week. Again, I work in a hospital. Even if I shower, it's just, you know, I just need to wash my bed. I know a lot of people say doing too many things all at once isn't conducive to a productive day, but this is simply how I work. Um, even in university, that's just how I functioned the best. So for laundry, it's just an easy way for me to start while doing something else. So I'll bring this downstairs in the basement. My, my building has laundry there, which oh, I'm so happy, especially living in New York. I'll start that off, let it run, and then the cool thing about this is that my building runs on a Bluetooth enabled washing machine so I could see how long I could see when the cycle is done. So it's kind of like an alarm system, I guess you could say. I don't have a set method. I break down my tasks as needed and I flicker from one task to another and it's just the way I work. So after I have laundry running, I usually have to focus on expenses and this is a new system that I'm trying for 2020. 
Every week I try to round up all my receipts and expenses for the blog because those are important for tax purposes. I take pictures of the receipts or the documents. I make sure to document them appropriately in a folder, let's say for March 2020, which is what I'm focus focusing on now. So I do this on a weekly basis so that at the end of the month, so every time a month ends, I go back into this folder and I add up or I total all these expenses into a spreadsheet. This is new for me. I'm trying it out. I did it for January and February and it was a total success. And I'm doing this because every time tax season comes, which is right now, I'm scrambling to find receipts. I'm scrambling to add up receipts. I'm losing my mind and I'm, I'm over it. I have a self-employed income from the blog, but I also have a salary income from the hospital. So my taxes get very complicated around this time of the year. So this is my way of being efficient, productive, and not worrying about it once 2021 comes. By the time I'm done shaving, showering, and skincare, laundry is already done. So I'm gonna set up my bed, make sure it's ready for me when it's time to go to sleep. I love a warm, fresh bed. It's literally makes everything worth it. Finally, probably around midnight, which again, my sleep hygiene is very different from yours. I'll probably finally sit down and start to decompress before bedtime, which includes some Hulu and some FX because those are things we don't have in Canada. Everything on its own may feel a little minute, but all of these little steps do help me maintain a successful side business as well as my career. Thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you very soon.